Hi folks, welcome. It's the 18th of November. Yeah, I'm just here weighing up a few lumps uh, to make some saucers. Some saucers. I'm not exactly sure the what I'm going to need in terms of clay, so I'm not going to weigh up too many lumps. I just got half a dozen. Which we'll do for now. Um, let's put a bit of plastic over that clay. Okay, we're good to go. Let's head over to the wheel. Yeah, it's cold today. Got the fire, got the fire alight here for about the first time this year. Which, considering it is the 18th of November, that's not too bad, really, is it? I suppose. Um, here we go. So, put them there. Yeah. So what I've got to do, just to explain, um, sauces is not something I really, I don't think I've actually made <laughs> a cup of sauces since I worked for my dad from the 1980s. But basically, so I have this order for these little guys, these little miniature, miniature tankard come um, espresso mugs. So they, are now requested saucers to go with them. So this is a saucer that I happen to have. It's actually, it's made in Japan. It's a Japanese. So I thought I'd make some saucers for these. Something along those lines. Not quite as, as wide as that. Interestingly, the I should have brought the, the, the cup that goes with this to show you, but interestingly, it does not have a cutout for the for the base of the uh, the cup or the, the mug in this case. Um, it kind of relies on the fact that you just put it in the in the middle, and that's that's how you go, you know, on your merry way, one. <laughs> so, and those little cutout things in the base there that's supposed to match in with that they're a pain so I'm not going to do them like that I'm going to do them like this so this is uh, actually not glazed this was fired in Japan I don't know if it's Bizen where but it's it really just is relying on the the glazing effect from the wood ash in the kiln so it's actually just raw clay but it, it, it it's not that slippery so the the mug actually it doesn't it doesn't slide all over the place you see. So we're going to get away with not having to put that wretched cut out. Yeah, I was just going through some pots in the house and I came across that and I suddenly thought, oh wow, that's what I'm going to do for my sauces. I thought. So where's my cup of tea? So let's have a look. We're in a picture, kind of. Whoa. Let's move a little closer. Yeah, something like that. Well, we've got a bit of sunshine look coming in. That's nice, isn't it? There's ice outside in the water where water has gathered. Right, so I have already made one. Maybe I should just quickly show you that. There. So, so certain things to think about with making, it was good to think about, you know, from a practical aspect. Have you ever gone to try to pick up a plate from the table and you find that you, you, you know, you've got a plate on the table like that and you go to pick it up and you can't get your fingers 
just underneath it enough to be able to lift it. So the rise, the rise of the, the edge of the plate or the saucer is important. It's to enable one to get your fingers underneath it to lift it. Right. This lump of clay is nine and a half ounces. Um, I may set a gauge. For which I'll need a bit of clay. That's okay, I'll just use one of these. One of these lumps here will do just for that. Because I'm just feeling my way with this, you know. I'm not yet. I may have to, to alter this, this weight of clay. Okay, so. So these these saucers they will be they will be trimmed. Gotta be careful they don't go too thin there in the bottom. So basically I'm just bearing in mind that you know not every form that we make is going to have a dead flat bottom. So certain certain shapes you need to just think think of a, a flattened bowl form. So just widening it gradually here. I think I, th I made the last one. Let me just measure it. I think it's five and a half. Five and a half. Hang on a minute. Let's have a look. Five and three eighths actually. Five and three eighths. Well, that is already five and a quarter. So, so you see, I get my 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 fingers underneath here, and then with the clay coming, I pull the clay from the center, sort of over my fingers like that, and then pull them out together. Try it. I guess here in America people don't really drink tea out of cups and saucers particularly. Five, look at that, five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. So I want to get a nice sort of um, un uninterrupted curve. Yep, that is that is it. Okay, we're just gonna just gonna leather that like that. Now the last one I used this this rib just to um I'm just thinking out loud here, but um, the centre here, where the where the where the where the cup is going to sit, because the bottom of the pot is is rough. I don't want to make that as smooth as possible there, because I want to cause a little bit of grip, you know, between the the bottom of the cup, the espresso tankard there and the saucer so the thing is not sliding around everywhere. So I'm just going to take a sponge and I'm going to I'm just going to sponge it a little bit because when you sponge you bring up the grog a little bit to the surface it tends to do that. So, as I say, I'm thinking out loud here, so I'm just thinking by doing that, I might 
that might just roughen it a little bit. All right. So I'm going to use my stick here just to just a token sticking, if you like. All right, let's just bring the camera down so you can have a look at that. Get some idea. Da, 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 dee, dee, dee. Let me see now, let's see if we can show you this. Trying to get a low down a bit so you can see the profile. You see, it's fairly narrow, narrowly thrown in the foot. Okay. Um, someone's going to ask me, how deep is it, Simon? <laughs> I have not a clue. Let me see, let's measure it and see. What's that say? Is that saying, is that saying like a, about an inch in height? An inch in height? And these particular ones are, uh, uh, yeah, five and three eighths. Okay, good. Right, we're making progress. We are making progress. Right, okie dokie. Right, cut that off, and then the next challenge is. So the next challenge is getting that off the wheel. Oh, okay. We're gonna we're gonna cut through. Now you can throw these on bats. I just have an aversion to using bats, but. Unless I, you know, I'm doing something that really warrants it. I, I quite often... I quite often just use a, a blowtorch like that. Let's get them off the wheel. See if we can do that without ruining it. We're going to peel him off. Peel him off. He'll come off bent, but when I put him down, hopefully. When I put him down, I'll put him down there next to his brother. All right, there is number two. Okay. Do another. Oh, sh sugar! I meant to set a gauge. Never mind. That's all right. Actually, there's, there's different ways of doing it. You can set a gauge, or I could use calipers. Actually, I think I might actually just use calipers and eyeball the height of it. So I'm just. Yeah, always good idea if you're going to use put a gauge. You want to set the gauge before you cut it. You cut it. Which I did not do. Okay, I set those calipers. Yeah, if you go to my my website or my Etsy shop, well my website of which Etsy is a part, a part of it. But if you go to the gallery page, I've put up there a load of new new pots or pots that I've had that just haven't been. Some new ones there, but some also from pots from my gallery here, which doesn't get seen on Etsy, generally speaking. So I just, I put a load of pots up put them up and then they got and then the load got sold before I could say Jack Robinson they're gone well I guess that's what we want 
was kind of looking at a jug there and thinking, well, maybe I should have kept that jug picture, you know, rather nice picture. It was up there. And I... Well, it's gone now. Anyway, it's sold. So there you go. But I put a good price on it because I thought, you know, when I'm I've got to sell something and it's a pot that I actually really rather like and I'd rather not sell it. But, you know, I sell it because, well, you know, I've got to pay bills and stuff. So, sometimes it's with a little regret, you know, that I sell it. Uh, but, you know, I mean, I always take a photograph of it, of course. Um, that's the way it goes, isn't it? You know, sometimes you, you know, you've, you've just got to sell stuff. You, you say, to, I say to myself at the time, well, that's okay. It's always repeatable. You know, I can always do it again. <laughs> but quite often, you know, it's not repeatable. That's just the point not repeatable not exactly you could do another one that would be similar but it wouldn't be that one it wouldn't be quite so you know, just bear that in mind before you just put something up for sale because you to get a particular pot that is really nice just like that I might have to make a hundred to get that one, the one that would be as nice as, say, that particular one. And, um, no, I may be exaggerating there, it may, you know, it may not be a hundred, but it... Okay, so there we are, there's another. So something just to bear in mind, you know, when you're making a flat form like a, a saucer or plate, as it dries, it lifts, okay, always, it always lifts, especially if it's got a narrowish foot, and the overhang here, the overhang, is a little bit, you know, the overhang bit will will wanna wanna lift up. Okay. So I cut him off, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, it helps, Simon, if you cut him off. It helps indeed. Cup of tea, swig of tea. Yeah, so these these sauces that I'm doing, I'm gonna I'm just gonna spray them with wood ash. I'm not gonna put any glaze on them. You don't really, as I say, you don't really want glaze on the bottom of a saucer on the on the on a saucer because it's just gonna make the 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 item that you're gonna put on top of it want to slide around. It's better that it's a little bit rough. Besides which, I'm lazy. <laughs> if I haven't got a bis fire it and I haven't got a glaze it, well, this is this is looking good, isn't it? No, well, you know what I mean. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. <laughs> I thought the other day maybe I could get some clay, mix it with cement. <laughs> <laughs> throw some pots and then they would self-harden, you know, and I wouldn't even have to fire them. That's all right, I'm, I'm only kidding. Okay, so look, breaking in, you see how I'm doing it? I, I recommend when you break in, you break in like that, not like that. You know what I mean? Break, when you break into your lump of clay, break in like that, not like... 
like you're sinking a well in the desert.